Hi everybody, I'm back. I was just coming to share my latest journal creations with you all today. Uh, today is Monday. I hope you guys are all off to a fabulous start. Um, I just, uh, I'm starting to get my, my day going here. So uh, before I um, get started with all of my errands and everything like that, I just wanted to come and share these with you all. Um, I've got two of them here. These are going to be Etsy listings, and I will hopefully have these up um, later on today sometime. Uh, they should be up by the end of the afternoon for sure. So, um, of course, if you're interested in those, I will leave the links below. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, they're, they're uh, typical of my journals. They're pretty... Um, embellished and meaty so uh, I'm gonna try and squeeze these both into one video so I'm just gonna do a quick flip through and uh, we'll um, if you have any questions I'm sorry I'm a little sidetracked here <laughs> if you have any questions for me on the journals you can always leave them in the comment section below and I will um, try to get to the um, questions as quickly as I can. Um, so this first one here, they're both the same size. They're the eight and a half by five and a half, and they do have the soft cover um, done with a 110 pound card. So it's, it's a sturdy cover, but they are soft cover. Okay. Um, I used a, uh, some hand dyed seam binding for the closure on this one. And the color palettes on these is a uh, pink gray, and black on this one the other one's got a little bit of yellow in it so um, that one turned out really cute too so let's just go ahead and go on in I did do some stamping on the pages uh, with my flourish stamps just to kind of dress them up a bit um, the pages are 78 um, journaling sides front and back Here's one of my um, handmade bow clips. Aren't those so cute? I love those. And this just has a little flip out here. I'm also going to be putting together um, a couple of journal kits uh, for, if, you know, in case you guys want to pick one up and, and make this journal yourself. There's some um, color treated uh, doilies, and those doilies you can find in my shop. There's a tag, it says the truth. All the paper clips are um, topped off with ribbons and fibers or, you know, dressed up in some fashion. Here's another tag here. And that one says this moment. That's my new Martha Stewart bow punch. I love this punch. It's so cute. And there comes Susie, my weenie dog. Hi, precious girl. <laughs> Go lay down, baby. Here we've got a glassine bag with a little journaling card that says on my list. There's a time card. I just topped that off with some ribbon and fibers. And here's one of the large um, craft, white craft um, merchandise bags from the shop. And I just topped that off with some uh, hand, hand dyed seam binding and some fibers as well. And then these journaling cards, I just stamped the back. That one says dream a little dream. And this one says treasured memories. Here's, um, what do you call this stuff? Ledger paper. And then I just stapled a tag that I did some, um, layered some elements on, just a couple of punches, some butterflies, a couple of circles, and some fibers. And I just stamped that with smiles. There's the large pocket here, one large pocket, and then the tags in here are all, um, well, the definition tags that I did on the white uh, cardstock are all topped off with my little um, frilly tag toppers. I love doing those. That one just says yippee. 
and they're blank on the back. And there's another journaling card or photo mat, and I just um, corner punched that and stamped it with together. And of course, this is a tuck spot here as well. Here's another little pocket there with another journaling card or photo mat. That one just says update. <clears throat> this tag here is from um, Victoria Designs. Things to do. Here's a file, mini file folder here. And the paper collection that I used in this journal, guys, is um, Pink pa It's by Pink Paisley, and it's called Bella Rouge. I love it. It's so much fun. Uh, there's another one of those definition tags. And then here's just a um, journaling sheet there. Now this paper here comes from a different collection, and this is from an old um, paper collection by Glitz, and it's called, oh gosh, I can't remember. I'll put it in the description box below if anybody's interested. Here's another one of those um, paper clips there that I just topped off with some... Um, Ribbons, good grief. <laughs> Ribbons and fibers and then just um, punched out some um, little butterflies with my Martha Stewart punch. And then you've just got a um, film strip die there. I just put some washi tape there. There's another color treated doily and that one's done up in gray. There's another definition tag here link on the back and then here's this journaling prompt here that one just says today and these also did not come from the collection um these i just had lying around so i stuck some of those in there and there's another um photo mat or journaling sheet that one just says the best there's another one of those little tags that i just layered up some stuff on just to kind of dress it up and it just says so so good here's a little jelly bean sack but there's nothing in it it's just empty you can stick something in there there's that other half of that gray doily here's some more journaling tags here And then in here, I've just got some little photo mats or journal. You know, you can put a photo on one side and then journal on the other if you want to. And I just topped those off with some Prima flowers, a little bit of sequins, um, some ribbon and fibers. So you've got two gray and, and a pink one as well. I'm not going to take them all out. They're all the same. Here's another definition tag and another one of those journaling prompts. That one just says favorites. Perpetual calendar. Here I just created a little um, pocket out of some banners, a doily. And I got a um, butterfly topped off with another Prima flower, some fibers, and a piece of sequins. And then we've just got a couple of tags here, and these ones are blank. And this little journaling sheet, I just stamped it with this and that. Here's another little mini file folder. another one of the candy shop, uh, candy sacks from my shop and I just topped it off with this image here there's a little um, journaling card right behind there that's so cute and I just stamped that with let's fly away 
I love these cards, you guys. I think they're so pretty. And then in here I just put um, some sh uh, list paper. Here's the other half of that large um, craft merchandise bag. It's got that definition tag there. And what I did was um, I just folded the bottom half over to create this pocket because they're too long. Um, so I just folded it over and that's what created this pocket here. I just glued the ends here. And then I cut the top half open so on the reverse you can you've got a pocket here and then I just notched I just notched out that um, section there so that you could <clears throat> get to whatever you put in there a little bit easier these are so much fun and if you're into like the coffee staining um, these take the coffee staining so so beautifully um, I really like having these um, merchandise bags and you guys I'm going to be having a sale over in the shop I was super excited I finally broke a thousand sales like I don't know it's been a couple of weeks ago now two or three weeks ago now two weeks ago and so I want to do a sale in my shop so I'm going to be doing that there'll be a coupon code and I will um, let you guys know when it's active and then, of course, everything that I've been using in these journals, I'll list links to those um, in the description box below if you guys are interested in picking up any of that stuff, okay? It's another definition tag. It's one of those long ones. And then on that little pocket, I just, again, use some um, banners. There's a doily in the back. And um, I just did another tag that I just kind of decorated. Just layered a bunch of little punches and fibers. Here's another glassine bag. And then I just topped off this bag with um, some cotton lace trim and a bow. And the other half of that pink doily. Here's another tuck spot here. Another bow paper clip. Same tuck spot on the other side. Another one of these little jelly bean sacks here. And that's the last page on the back cover. We've got another one of those candy sacks that I just topped off with some lace. And we've got these two journaling cards here. Sorry, everybody, I'm kind of going out of frame. And a couple of large tags on the top. That one says the sweet life. And that one says the best ever. And so you can um, tuck something in here. And then there's also tuck spot behind as well. All right, so that's that journal there. I'm just going to move it off to the side. But isn't that so much fun, everybody? I just really love the way that... Um, just love all the meatiness. All that texture is awesome. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get the second one in. I'm hoping we can. This one, I'm just going to do a quick flip through. Hold on one moment. Okay, sorry about that. You know what? I'm looking at my time here, and I can already tell I'm not going to have enough time to do them both. Um in one video I'm definitely going to get cut off so I'm just going to go ahead and stop with this one and then um, I'll be back to do the this one here and the flip through on this one here also another really chunky monkey loaded with embellishments and all kinds of goodness so um, I'll be back with this one in a few everybody I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and we'll be back in a few minutes have a good one